The topic of our class today was Anar thyself that only God may be. We started with a metaphor given to us by Raman Maharishi where he said that when we dig a well we are removing the earth and we say we've created a well but have we really created anything? The empty space was always there. All we've done is we've removed the earth. The earth are the different conditionings, the different samskaras, the different archives in our subconscious mind that keep coming up into the present moment and holding us prisoners. And if we remove those samskaras, those archives, the space which is actually the well, our God Self remains and groundwater fills it up so that we are quenched. So, these different conditionings our, our fears, our regrets, our resentments, our jealousies and when they arise with every conditioning it's not just our mind that darkens but since mind and body are one unit even our body moves towards ill health in fact, scientists have found that there are neuropeptides for every emotion we feel. And these neuropeptides dock onto receptor sites in our cells and change the biochemistry of the cell. Now these receptor sites are also the sites through which we receive our amino acids, glucose, good stuff into the cells. If they are blocked by negative emotional molecules, the neuropeptides, no matter how healthy we eat, the health we want will be beyond our access. So Sri Aurobindo says, man can accept his fate, he can reject it. Let's understand this with a very concrete example. Suppose an emotion of fear comes. The moment that emotion comes, the neuropeptide starts getting released into our bloodstream and it will dock into our cellular memory, making that cell a little less healthy. And with fear, maybe I'll have a sleepless night. That is one avenue of fate. But when the fear arises, if I can open to another thought of light, I need to fear nothing. Whatever unknown comes to me, my master will be there in the unknown as the one superseding known. Ever in the heart of peril, we hear a flute go before us or any such other thought, then the neuropeptide would dissolve. We would go to sleep happily and more healthily. So that's another avenue in which our fate could go. So we always have a choice. And every time we annul the past conditioning, either by just witnessing it or raising an opposite light-filled thought, we are removing little more earth, paving the way a little more for the well to be formed. So every time we annul ourselves by removing a conditioning, that space is occupied by the God nature that we really are 
just covered up by the conditioning 